Hello and welcome to this 20-minute ultimate routine for bursitis and hip pain. My name is Joel, and today you might want two blocks or two books or two sturdy cushions for some of our exercises. So let's start by coming to a reclined cobbler's pose, coming onto our backs, bringing the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. And we'll just start to breathe here, closing our eyes, feeling into our hips. You can put blocks under the knees if that's more comfortable. Many of you might know my three previous routines for bursitis and hip pain, which are supine, seated, and standing. And I received multiple requests for a longer sequence, so I hope that uh, you'll enjoy today. We'll be repeating some, some old favorites, but mostly doing new exercises. And we'll be moving our way up from supine as we are now to standing, and then come back to supine to finish up with a combination of stretching and strengthening to protect our hip capsule. And this video is actually 21 minutes long, so if you stick with me the whole way through, you will have more than doubled uh, all of the previous videos that we've done together. So let's press the feet down now, lift the hips up, squeeze the glutes, and come back down. And let's do about five more here. So squeeze the glutes to lift up, and lower down. Keep going here. A couple more. We're just waking up our outer hips. And I know from experience that chronic bursitis can be very painful, so if anything is too much today, then as usual, please do back off or take a little break in a more comfortable position. Beautiful. Let's just do one last one here, lifting. And lower down. And now just separate the feet a couple of inches so the feet are no longer touching. We're going to squeeze the glutes again to lift back up. Now close the knees, open the knees, and set back down. A couple more here. So squeeze and lift. Squeeze the knees. Open the knees. And set back down. Let's do three more here. So again, we're lifting, closing the knees, open the knees back up and setting down. Two more. Lifting, close, open, and lower down. Last one, lift, squeeze tight, open up, and release. And we'll just come back to that reclined cobbler's pose. So bring the feet back together just for a few moments here. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. And then we'll just roll to the side. We'll make our way up to seated. Find those blocks or other props if you've got them. And we're going to extend our right leg out and bend the left leg. So the left foot is coming towards the inner thigh of the right leg. We're going to face down that right leg and hinge at the hips to come forward. So this is a great place to use some of our props as I'm doing here, either by resting the forehead, maybe on a block, or putting blocks under the arms, which I'll show a little bit later. You could also just sit up tall if you prefer. And you can also modify the height of the block, perhaps as you let gravity do its work, you might come a little bit further down. And if you don't have any blocks, you can also just let yourself dangle. So let's roll up, and this time we're going to face down the diagonal, so between our two legs here. And you can adjust your props as necessary, and we're just going to fold forwards again. And while we're here in these stretching postures, I'd like you to think about really sending the, the breath into the hips. Finding where it's, where it's tight, understanding that your hips will release and that you are getting stronger and you are doing something helpful and caring and wonderful for yourself today. And we can start to come up here. And for one final stretch in this position, we're this time going to face towards the bent knee. 
and just leaning over, tiptoeing the fingertips forwards a little bit or sitting upright. Another way of using the prop here is to actually put a block on top of your knee and then resting the forehead right on top. And by the way, if you don't have any blocks and you would like some, I really like these foam ones for getting a little bit further or a little bit more relaxed in certain postures. And I'll put a link to these in the description box below this video so you can check those out and maybe get some for yourself. So breathing here for another few seconds. And then we can come up. We'll just move the blocks to the side for a moment and place the left knee, uh, excuse me, left hand down. We're going to press into that hand to see if we can lift the hips up, coming on to the left knee. The right hand can either stay on the hip or you might reach that right hand up towards the ceiling. So we're stretching here through the side of the hip and through the IT band. And if you want even more of a challenge here, not that it's necessary, you can try lifting that extended leg for the final few seconds in this pose. Or you can just keep it on the floor too. And wherever you are, let's start to sit down and we're just gonna take a break here. So come to child's pose, knees together, sitting the hips back towards the heels or maybe onto a block and reaching the fingertips forward. Just a release in the hips and lower back here for a few moments. Doing great so far. Well done. And we can start to gently come up, grab our, our blocks or our props, and we're just gonna do the same stretches on the other side. So this time we're extending our left leg, bending that right knee, we're going to start by facing down the left leg and again maybe sitting up taller maybe coming forward and I'm just showing another way to use the blocks here so setting them down next to the leg and bringing the forearms onto those blocks remember to just let gravity do its work here great release for the hips and the lower back we're not trying to prove anything or compete with anything. We're just letting everything go. Beautiful job. So let's come up now. We can again face down towards that diagonal between the two legs and just release forwards to whatever degree feels good and right for today. If hip pain is a regular issue for you, then I would really recommend doing some form of these exercises and stretches every single day, even if it is just 10 or 20 minutes. It's made a real difference for me and it can for you as well. You can see here I've moved the props out of the way, so option to practice without any props at all if you prefer. we can gently roll up and we're going to turn towards that bent knee so towards our right knee and this is just another opportunity to let something go as we maybe release a little bit forwards here maybe just crawling the fingertips out or coming onto the forearms or onto our props by the way I'm very happy to let you know that starting this week I'll be releasing two videos per week so on Monday, as today, I'll be focused on pain relief for mobility in a certain part of the body. And our Thursday videos will be a little bit more dynamic. So working on certain postures, building up some stamina. And I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps to support my work as I'm trying my best to develop and, and grow this channel. I'm really excited about it. All right, so we can come back up here. We can come into that challenging position, pressing into our right hand and maybe lifting up the hips. Supporting knee is acting as kind of a kickstand here. And we can keep that upper hand on the hip or maybe extend it out. 
And I want to say a big thank you to those of you who are already part of the community and who have let me know that you're also sharing some of these videos with your friends. It really makes a, a big difference to me and I appreciate it so much. And by the way, if you do have any requests for future videos, just leave me a comment below. You can lift up that extended leg if you'd like to for a little extra spice here. And then we'll just come back down. We're going to make our way into what's called a bear sit position. So we're keeping the heels on the ground, the knees are bent, and the legs are extended out to the side. We're just going to start swiveling the knees from right to left. So we're coming to 90-90 uh, position. So where each knee is flexed at 90 degrees, and we're keeping that 90 degree angle in both knees as we just swivel gently side to side. You might remember this one from our 10 minute seated sequence. Very good. So we can release that motion. Now we're going to come onto hands and knees for a couple new exercises that we haven't tried yet together. So press into the hands here and we're just going to start circling that right knee. So we're keeping the rest of the body completely still. It's just the right knee that's coming forwards, out to the side, sweeping back, and then forwards again. Keep going at your own rhythm. We're going for about three in each direction here. So once you've done three, you can reverse that circle. And by the way, I'm sorry that my hair is in the way here. I didn't realize, but I will fix it in just a second. So bear with me. And then we can set that right knee down, flick our hair out of the way. <laughs> as promised, and we're going to change sides. So this time the left knee comes forward, out to the side, circling back, and coming forwards again. So again, we're doing three in one direction at your own pace, and then we'll simply re uh, reverse that circle, excuse me. And this is also an opportunity to check in with your upper body, releasing any tension in the shoulders, in the neck, in the jaw. Just really focusing on our hips today. And now we'll come to what I call a modified pigeon pose. We're going to pick up the right knee and just set it outside the left knee. And you can either stay there or you might start sliding those right toes back diagonally until you find whatever feels like a good hip stretch for you. So this will look a little bit different on everyone. Might even feel a little bit awkward and that's okay. Remember that this is your practice, so just find whatever works for you. And that might be just keeping that right knee to the outside of the left. Might be pressing up on the hands, coming down to the forearms, maybe using a block under the forearms or under the forehead. Just an opportunity to play around and try something a little bit new here. And we can start to come up. Just take a moment here to reset before we try the other side. So this time the left knee will come to the outside of the right knee, either staying here or starting to creep those left toes back in a diagonal. So generally we have one side that is more open, more limber than the other. This side is personally much harder for me. So I like to kind of wiggle in place a little bit before settling in to whatever feels right at that particular moment. Remember that this posture, as, as do all postures, does not have to look a certain way. It just has to feel right to you. So if it doesn't, try something else. And chances are you'll feel a little bit different each time you try this one. All right, beautiful. So let's drag those toes back in. We'll come back to our hands and knees for another little dynamic exercise here. 
So we're going to flex the right foot and we're going to do little kicks up toward the ceiling. And we're squeezing our right glute with every kick. So we're here for about 30 seconds, so just go at your own pace. We're doing probably around 20 to 25 of these, but there's no magic number. And again, you might remember that we did this one in a, or I should say a variation of this one in our standing routine. So getting some, some different angles today. Very good, and we'll just switch sides. So flexing that uh, left foot up now, kicking the heel up towards the ceiling, and remember that it's just that left leg that's moving, so we're not opening our hips up to the side, our shoulders aren't doing anything funky, we're just working to activate glute tissue here. A couple more, you've totally got this. Just feel the work in the glute as you get stronger and healthier. Well done. And we can bring that left knee back down and we're just gonna sink back. We're gonna actually roll up to standing here. So make your way to standing however you'd like. Take your time. We're just gonna do one standing exercise today and it's everybody's favorite. <laughs> so we'll start by standing on our left foot, picking up the right foot and you're gonna lean forward as if you wanted to pick something up off the floor. Somebody in the comments section uh, called it picking daisies, which I thought was very cute. So that's what I'm going to call it from, from now on. And it might help to hold on to something here like a wall or a chair. This is a, not only a strengthening exercise, but a balance one as well. We're teaching ourselves to support ourselves and, and move on one leg. So it's actually pretty complex here. So let's shake that out and we'll just switch sides to see which side is stronger, standing on the right foot now, picking up the left. And again, starting to lean forward, picking up those daisies, feeling the glutes and the lug, leg muscles, rather, all working together. So this is really a, a full body exercise if you think about it. There's a lot of things going on here. Beautiful, set that foot down. And we're just gonna finish up on our backs. So come back into a supine position. Again, take your time getting there, however you'd like. And once you have arrived back on your back, you can step the feet a little bit further away from the body, coming up onto just the heels. And we're gonna squeeze the glutes and lift the hips and come back down and then keep going. So just bridging up and down, going for about 15 reps here, but as always, this is not a competition. Again, you might remember this one from our supine routine. And just notice, really feel the strength that you've built up now as you've switched on your glutes, worked on your hips and your legs, your lower back. Hopefully feeling pretty good. Now let's come down, we'll shift the hips to the right a little bit, cross the left knee on top of the right, and bring the knees towards the left. This variation is sometimes called lady legs. You can leave the arms down by your side, or I like to come to cactus arms as I am here with the elbows bent. You can either look up towards the ceiling or it might feel nice to turn the head towards the right, looking over the right shoulder. You're doing really beautifully, and I'm proud of all of you for making it this far. We're almost at the end here. Just keep the eyes closed and keep breathing into those hips. And when you're ready, we can bring the knees back to center, uncross the legs just to switch sides here. So we shift our hips over to the left a little bit. We cross the right knee on top of the left. Knees come over towards the right as we maybe look over that left shoulder or just keep the gaze up. We just have one more stretch after this one and I really hope that this sequence has helped you feel better today.
And if you enjoyed this sequence, I do hope you'll leave me a like or a comment and subscribe so that we can practice together more in the future. And we can bring the knees back up to center for our last stretch, uncross the knees, and we'll just come back to our very first position, that cobbler's posed with the soles together, knees apart. Just an opportunity to reflect back on how you feel now compared to how you felt in the same posture at the start of practice today. How far you've come in the last 20 minutes. You've made a real difference in your body and in your mind today, just by practicing. Thank you very much for joining me today, and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.